strange bunch. Uh, oh, that's Greg, isn't it? In the middle, I know Greg. Yeah. Greg James, Andrew, uh, who's Andrew and who's Dean? Andrew Morton, uh, writer, novelist. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He might know football. Uh, Dean? Dean's my tour manager. He always has the radio on. They just seem to know everything, don't they? He knows everything from where's the nearest loo to, you know, what's the 32 club? You yes. never know. The question actually isn't where is the nearest loo? It's going to be at this rate. I'm pretty nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you going to call? I th Greg is a bit of a sport nut, cricket primarily, but also for, and he's always listening to the radio news when he's on BBC Radio 1, so I think Greg James could be a good call, unless you feel... No, I, I, Andrew wouldn't be he the one very, for I've played cricket with him, yeah. he is very sporty. Um, OK, we're in Greg. Russ, are you going to talk to him? Yeah, I okay. will. Right, you'll have 30 seconds, tell him the question, four possible answers. Do you want to tell him it's worth £50,000? Yes. Might sort of focus Ed, on it. Might We've only got 23 yes. seconds, though, so there's not that much time for banter. No, about. you will have 30 seconds for the call, and then oh, 23 okay. seconds left. OK. OK, we'll have a chin Couldn't mic. be more generous and helpful. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I don't know where Greg is. He's probably not... Hello? Greg? Yes? Chris Tarrant, good evening, old chap, and how are you? I'm very good, Mr. Tarrant. How are you? I'm all right, matey. Now, listen, I've got Russell and Gloria here. They're doing all right, but they are stuck on a particular question, which you're bound to know. Oh, no. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> Don't be embarrassed, but it is worth £50,000. Oh, good. Oh, good. <laughs> Let's put you under pressure, boy. OK, right, next voice will be Russ. He'll tell you the question, the four possible answers. One of these is worth 50 grand. All right, mate. Okay. Russ, fingers crossed, you've got 30 seconds starting from now. Greg, um, someone who has watched a match at every English Premier and Football League ground is eligible for membership of which club? The 32 club, the 62 club, the 92 club, or the 122 or 122 club? Give me the options again quickly. 32 club, 62 club, 92 club, or the 122 club? Um... Every English Premier and Football League ground. How many teams is that? That'll be the answer. That quick, would be, quick. Uh, I would say 32. Mm, he sounds a bit doubtful, doesn't he? Yeah. Restart the clock, you've got 23 seconds. Mm. You've got no Every more Every English left. Premier and Football League, that's five leagues of all of the teams. But I don't know how many leagues are in each team. Me neither. You I can, haven't clearly. You can't take the money. We're going to we're gonna have to take the money because yeah. it could be, it's either C or D, but I don't know, I don't know how many teams are in each league. Be Me quick, neither. be quick guys, you've got okay, four seconds. we'll take the, take money. the money. Final answer. <laughs> So sad as well. I don't know what planet Greg was on. The right answer... It's going to be 122 or 92. The right answer is 92. Yeah. 92. Do you know, before we came on as well, we, neither of us is good at sport. Neither. So Adrian Childs and Frank Skinner are sitting back there going, why didn't they know that? Well, no. <laughs> Just give them one direction. Yeah, questions. but they wouldn't know that one direction, that's would they? That's true, that's true. <laughs> Please ask Listen, them about don't saying. put yourselves down. You've won £20,000. We've got £20,000 to well share between their charities yeah, and did. that viewer prize. Give a big hand. Thank Gloria you. Honeyford Thank you very and much. Russell Kane. Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Cheers, mate. I'll see you again Good luck, Cheers. Right, let's meet our next pair. Will you please welcome Frank Skinner and Adrian Childs? You have to be there. You have to be there. You just want to cut me out. And I bet you knew that one, didn't you? Uh, we did know that one. We yes. know much, but we did know that one. But sadly, that one won't come up again, will it? Can I say, I've done many TV shows over the years. Chris, this is the smallest glass of water right. I've ever been given out. <laughs> well, it well, we nearly finished, you see, so we've had 15 years' worth of water, and that's... Well, we've oh, got no, about, this is what they've left We've got two more shows. Think of the celebrity DNA in well, this Well, I know, water. but I tell you what, in 1998, that was a very lovely fresh glass of water. <laughs> <laughs> so, Aid, how are you feeling? Because uh, I'm terrified. Because I know everything, I just can't remember any of it when I, when I need to. I'm sure it's all in there, but... My mum absolutely loves this show, and I really should have asked her to come along. She'd have loved it, but I was just too frightened of making an idiot of myself in front of her, so... Uh, you, you do know I this know. is televised. No, I do <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she will see it. She will find out, unless I can get it impounded if we end in dismal failure. You won't give be positive. OK, right, are you ready for this? Adrian and Frank, at this moment, are hoping to win some very serious money for one of you at home, and also their chosen charity, CAFOT, which is the Catholic aid agency that helps people in developing countries make a decent living. Now, you want more information on anything to do with the show, and also, particularly all of tonight's charities, go to the website. So, they have their three lifelines over the first two questions. They have just 15 seconds. Lots of luck, guys. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire?
Right, question number one is for £500. Uh, you'll have just 15 seconds after I've asked the question. Here it comes. What season follows winter? Start the clock. Leap, surge, jump, spring. Do we think? Yes, we think it's um, D, spring. Final answer. There was a hint of uncertainty in your voice there, Skinner. Well, We're looking for a trick with very cynical, no suspicious people. No. It is the right answer. You have £500. Back. Oh, no problem. <laughs> Personally, I'm happy with that. <laughs> you could go. A girl, a long time ago, actually took the money at 500 quid. Well, if I was walking down the road and, and a charity person said, would you like to give to my charity and I gave them 500 quid, they'd be absolutely <laughs> thrilled. Yeah. yeah. But you're not. You're with Aid, yeah. who's hoping for big things mm. from you. Question number two is for £1,000. Last point at which you could go home is nothing at all. Uh, it won't happen. You have all three lifelines. Use them if you need to. Question number two is for £1,000. <laughs> What word for a photo taken of oneself and uploaded onto social media was the Oxford Dictionary's 2013 Word of the Year? Start the clock. Selfie, I be, me be, free be. Selfie? Yes. Uh, we think that that is a selfie, final answer. It's the right answer. You've got a thousand pounds. Thanks, Skinner and Adrian Child. <clears throat> I've never seen you so nervous. Oh, I, I, you know, I like, like a man who's about to be hung. I like being in charge. I don't like being on the other end of it. I don't feel in control. You could do anything. And you've got Skinner with you, which must be reassuring. No, no, it is. It but is. we sit next to each other at, um, at West at Brom West game, Brom. so I see him in this kind of condition quite regularly. <laughs> Most weeks. He's <laughs> always sure we're going to win 2 0. I'm always sure we're going to lose 2 0. That's and just the way it goes. Usually right. Mm. <laughs> okay, you have a thousand pounds. Money going up and up and up. You have three lifelines. The time now is 30 seconds for each question for the next five questions. Question number three is this. Which bird family has British species called barn and tawny? Start the clock. Cuckoo, swan, owl, sparrow. C. Let's go for C. We think it's C, owl, and that's our final answer. Why are you the team spokesman? Because people don't understand Adrian's West Midlands accent. <laughs> 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 it's the right answer you have 2,000 pounds. You have two grand. Question number four is for £5,000. You've not yet touched any lifelines. Have a look. Uh, tell us what you want to do. Which of these technological developments came first? Start the clock. Telescope, telephone, television, telegram. Telescope. Will you start whispering? Yes. Um, we are thinking that it must be the telescope, which I think was invented by Anton de la Yeah. Um, I'm, we, are, we, are we confident that that's true? Yeah. Couldn't be television, couldn't be telephone. Telegram? But no. Now, we're going to go final answer, a telescope. telescope. Because it was invented by I think it's Anton Dubeck. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> Yes. I, I think it is Anton van de, de la Hoovenock. I tell you, Alexandra and David waiting, they also think it's telescope. It is telescope, of course it is. You've got 5,000 pounds. <laughs> Join us in a few minutes to see if they can go all the way. At the moment, they have all three lifelines. They're on fire. Join us after the break. Welcome back to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? It's a celebrity special. We've got Frank and Adrian doing pretty damn good, actually. They're on £5,000. They still have all their lifelines intact. Last time, you were very, very, very good, Frank Skinner. You came with David Baddiel. Mm. That's more made... pressure on me, though, because it's no. going to be my fault if it doesn't work. No, but you were... Thing. Well, actually, he was very clever, and you were kind of a little flight of... Midland fancy. Yeah, <laughs> but we won £250,000. We won £250,000, which is yeah, 245 more than you got at the moment. But, <laughs> but you know, early days, days. 12 yeah. years on. <laughs> now, you have five grand. Question number five, you can double your money to ten. You've not yet used the lifeline. Have a look at this. You've got three more against the clock. Here it comes. Leaving Southampton on its fateful voyage in 1912, Titanic made brief stops in France and where else before it sank? Start the clock. 
Italy, Ireland, Norway, Greece. Show you 50 50. Show you on a 50 50. You think it's Ireland? Well, it's going to be something that's weight. It was going way across the Atlantic. But 50 okay. 50 might help confirm. Yeah. Can we yeah, um, right, stop the clock? 50 50, please. All right, guys, you'll have 12 seconds left. Right, computer, take away two random wrong answers. Leave Frank and Adrian the right answer, the one remaining wrong answer. So Ireland's still there and Greece is still. The restart the clock, you've got 12 seconds. Tell us what you want to do. But if he's gone via Greece, as well as being unable to avoid icebergs, he didn't know where he was going if he's heading to New York. Okay, so I'll say be it. quick, be quick. Be Ireland, final answer. <laughs> 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 With two seconds left, he wouldn't do a right turn to Greece, would he? The right answer is Ireland, you've got £10,000. Better to check. Better to be sure. I just wanted to be sure, to be sure. <laughs> You're still doing stand-up? Yes. Why? <laughs> because they're still allowing me to do so. <laughs> uh, guys. You have ten thousand uh, pounds. Question number six is for twenty thousand. Still got phone a friend. You can still ask this bewildering audience. Have a look. The question number six for twenty grand. You've got two more against the clock. Here it comes. Which former world leader has turned to painting since leaving office? Reportedly signing his work. Forty-three. Start the clock. Fidel Castro, Gordon Brown, George W. Bush, Nicholas Sarkozy. I think it's Brown. It's Bush. I think it, I personally think it's George Bush. Um, Adrian doesn't go. No, I don't think it's worth a lifeline. You got ten seconds. I think we should guess. I think it's George W. Bush. Fortune favours the brave. Okay, uh, George W. Bush. C. Final answer. But you've had a lovely day, Aidan. You've been on the telly, <laughs> and you've met me. Oh, Shall I drink my water while I still can? The right answer is George W. Yes. Bush. You're right. And do you know why he signed his work 43? Because he's the 43rd President of the United States. I was going to tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> So, you've got £20,000 at this moment. You could lose 19 here. I really, really don't want you to. As Gloria and Ross did, you could take the money, but you have still got to ask the audience, you've still got to phone a friend. You're one away from 50000 Maybe football. Just press the football button there. There isn't a football button. You can well, come press over the West search. Brom button if you've got one. We have it? never had a West Brom button in 600 shows. We've never had one West right. Brom button. Question number seven for £50,000 is this. Here it comes. Last one against the clock. Which of these spices is obtained from a species of crocus? Start the clock. Nutmeg, cinnamon, clove, saffron. Well, saffron, uh, clove, or something. Cinnamon, I don't know. Nutmeg is from nutmeg. You think it's saffron? How much Pretty do you think? Sure. Saffron. Pretty sure it's saffron. There might be some cooks in the audience. They won't yeah. know, will they? So, no. Even cooks wouldn't know. Do you want to be brave? I trust you. Go on, then. You are Adrian Childs. And we are going D, saffron, final answer. Oh, down to that face. No, but you know when you go to... Orange, you can't go back. Aid, why do you think? Why would it be saffron? Because I just think. How I, would you know that? I just think I bought some once, and I kind of think. Oh well, that'll be it then. I went to Spain, and I. Hold on, I bought some I'm, nutmeg no, once. Where does that leave us? I'm sure it came from a crocus. Then again, perhaps it came from a tulip. It came from a flower. Have I done something terrible, Chris? Yeah. You've it's just won fifty thousand pounds. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, God. <laughs> oh, I can't get any greyer, Chris. You're normally so calm. You've got live football. You've got Roy Keane. You're really normally calm. You're bag of nerves on this. Yeah. Chris, you must be great at poker. You are the <laughs> best bluffer I've ever seen in my I was convinced that was wrong. No, it's the right answer. You have £50,000. We is can't cool. lose this. No, you can't we? lose it. That's it. Come Whatever on. happens, that will stay at that amount. £50,000 is the minimum you will win. But, 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 you've got to phone a friend, you've got to ask the audience, and they have earned that extra lifeline switch, which means they can now swap a question you don't like the look of. So, Frank and Adrian are now, this sounds good when you say it, just yeah. five questions That's away time. from £1 yeah. million. Pounds. Okay. Now! How are you feeling, eh? You must be enjoying it oh, nearly. Right. Did, did anyone know saffron? Was that? Yeah. Oh, they always oh, say All right, that. so you say. 
They always say that. Yeah. Right. You have £50,000. Question number eight is for 75 grand. You might as well play this. You can switch it if you don't like the look of it. You can use both lifelines. Have a look. Question number eight is this.